Sagittarius, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. There's always an extended reading that I create for you guys. I hope that you join me for it. You can find that extended reading. The link to that extended reading down below in the description box and pinned to the top of the comments. Uh, or you can just join the Unbound membership over here on Born Without Boundaries Tarot so you can get unlimited access to any and all of the extended readings plus all of the channel perks. So check it out and think about it. Um, remember, you can join me for a daily tarot card reading over on my second YouTube channel, Astrology Motivation. It will intuitively answer your questions through this general reading, and I hope to hear you guys live on the chat over there. Um, remember to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload your favorite content. Sagittarius content comes out every single Tuesday at 8 o'clock a.m. Pacific time. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so... <laughs> Every time I talk to you guys, I have Brittany playing in my head. And as you know, Brittany is a Sagittarius. Brittany Spears. And oops, I did it again. I wish I could play that as background music, but you know, YouTube will flag me. Oops, I did it because that's you. Oops, you did it again. Somehow, you fucked around and still pulled it off. And it's kind of what you do. And God bless you. That's just, that's your gift. Um, the astrology this week is quite beautiful. Jupiter is, Jupiter is trying to the sun. And it has a beautiful trying to the sun conjunct moon on this new moon. There are some kerfuffles thrown in with a little bit of irritation from Mercury most of the week and Saturn toward the end of the week. Just like semi-squares and weird aspects. They're not necessarily direct oppositions or squares, but ultimately a little bit of challenges. What does that mean? You're going to be challenged technologically right now. You're going to be challenged, ter challenged in terms of communications, in terms of being able to get words out of your mouth, but also I feel like more or less waiting for communications or messages to come in. There is a square between Mercury and then the conjunction between Mars and Uranus is huge. And, and that square. So yeah, this is going to fuck with you a little bit. It's going to mess with the messages you're waiting to come in. There's going to be some technological issues and failures and sh power outages, that kind of thing. And then maybe dealing with the little bit of law, status quo standards, or what is expected of you by authority figures later on. Irritation later on in the week. But ultimately, the pervasant and most... Um, um, powerful energy that you're going to be going through this week is that trine, that trine to the sun all week long, which is beautiful energy for you because you're expanding your sense of who you are yourself, as well as the confidence in yourself, how much confidence you have in your talents, what you do with your talents, being really aware. And this could also be saying, this is where you shine because where everything else starts to break down, you pick up and you know exactly where it is. It's almost like the computer system at work fails, but it's okay because you got the numbers in your head. You're fucking like Rain Man Savant. It's something like that where, where, the, the crap that's ending up crackling and around you is going to bring out your shine even freaking more. And that's wonderful, especially this new moon. This new moon in Leo is going to be powerful because it is really about self-acceptance. It's, it's, it's moon conjunct the sun, which it always is, but there's also a conjunction with Mercury because Mercury is real close there too. Your hearts, minds, and your souls are all in sync and really know what it wants very clear, but your it's Jupiter is trying that. So there's this beautiful harmony and expansion. I just feel like something's really about to go down for you guys. That's really blessed and wonderful. Definitely take a chance by communicating, saying something, sharing an idea, starting something new, initiating, um, asking for a rate, whatever it is. That is a lucky day for you. Play your numbers or go get your lottery ticket. But it's not just that. It's not dumb luck. It's, it's really more about um, so being so in sync and feeling so solid about who and what you are that it's obvious to the rest of the world. So this is a beautiful day. That's Thursday of this week, and it's really kind of all week. So 
Let's get into the cards. Time to let go of what's been aching on your heart. And I don't think this is just you letting go like here today, gone tomorrow. Oh yeah, all of a sudden, everything that used to hurt me doesn't hurt me anymore. No, I think this is the universe. I think this is actually, you can finally like relinquish something that's been really making you sad or feel like shit about yourself, something that you've been struggling with, keeping inside, internalizing. This is actually a relief of sorts. This is a uh, really feeling um, time to let go. Yeah, you can confront it now. You can confront it. You can deal with it. It's going to come up. The pain is going to be there, but it's for a great reason, like a, a pimple popping to be released and sort of just get it out. And then we have set healthy boundaries. Okay. So it's almost like time to let go of people that have been causing you pain, time to let go of people that have been causing you suffering um, by basically knowing and having enough confidence in yourself to realize this is my boundary. This is, you don't cross it. And you can set these boundaries with anybody, uh, parental figures, anybody, anybody, uh, spouses, um, bosses, um, friends, um, it's almost like in some ways or okay this could be also suffering or pain or sadness regarding somebody moving away about distance coming in between the two of you so does it could be something about boundaries or borders that's really kind of hurting you and um I can only assume that it's something new that you're just will starting to adjust to uh turn knowledge into wisdom that's really interesting shit. Um, that's got to do with the moon and your psyche, but also creativity. Okay. So something forensic. I don't know what you guys are up to, but something deep down and dirty and forensic, right? Is you're going to put it into a natural order and an order that makes sense. Setting boundaries so that you stop some sort of pain or hurt or complete destruction of something turn knowledge into wisdom by taking what you know and applying it this is where you're a superhero and save the day this is like superhero superman sweeping in and making sure that the dam doesn't explode and ruin the whole town i feel like this has something to do with work um but it could also be um it's almost like learning how to healthily like or in a good way contain pain or to release the pain that you need and to compartmentalize, not to hide from, but to like take stock in and, and look at it for what it's worth instead of making it make you feel like you have to hide, hide something or keep, keep a secret. I don't think you're going to be keeping a secret for long. I think you're going to be, even if you don't say it out loud, you're going to be using it to your advantage. Oh, the plot thickens. Sagittarius, what are you up to? This is like super stealth mode. What is Sagittarius up to, please? What is Sagittarius up to? Um, okay, time for a beginner mindset. I don't think you're having any crap. You're also not turning over. You're, you also maybe feel kind of like your soft underbelly is exposed. You're not ready for anything new or you don't want to deal with anything new or any new crap. There's also a sense of, yes, you're, um, this is Aquarian energy. So I could, I could tell you this right now, excuse me, because my allergies have been horrible, but this is Aquarian energy. So what does this mean? What I said, um, what I said in the beginning of the reading, some of your technology systems that you're working with, check your computer, whatever, whatever, um, internet, uh, online platforms, applications, some sort of technology is breaking the fuck down. It just is. Uh, please know that time to collaborate. There's somebody that's going to come to your aid, not necessarily to come to your rescue, but help you is almost like somebody helping you change a tire on the side of the road. Um, but it's this connection uh, like that ends up becoming sort of something that you can use to help yourself out or to build in the future could be where you meet your next business partner could be where you i don't know something like that but there's some kind of collaboration here it's time to collaborate time to collaborate with who How, who the fuck are we collaborating with um yeah you want to tell me who are we collaborating with um this is the moon card again this is the new moon Okay, so with who? I don't think it's, it could be with a Pisces. It's somebody who sees things that other people don't see. Um, 
man, you could be hiring a private detective, not even letting those boundaries get to you. That kind of sense of, yeah, I'm not going to let these boundaries keep me from getting to the nitty gritty of the truth. So there are some secrets that are coming out that expose maybe not your, but somebody else's underbelly. What? What? There's secrets all over this place. So what? Uh, hello? Hello? Oh, okay. Okay. What do you need to tell me? What do you need to tell me? Sagittarius, what is this? Um, there's a change in money or money exchange. Maybe there's been money missing from somewhere, or but there's definitely like a shift in finances or something shifting in finances. So what has this got to do with Sagittarius though? The lovers is here. Some sort of Gemini communication, something just working out, something just fitting naturally. You know what? I, just, I have to say, there is, this is like a time to shine and a like a time to legitimately. Mm. Come to the rescue and whole shit, people are going to love you. This is also about being attracted to somebody. Because the lovers are here like a sense of. It's an unavoidable kismet. It's an unavoidable connection. An unav unavoidable um, just collaboration. Could you take this? Yes, you could take this romantically. But Sagittarius, you could also take this in terms of work. It's, it's unavoidable because it's almost like you're going to crash into each other. I don't necessarily think there's an actual crash. But it feels like that. It's, it's a sense of an unavoidable collision but like an unavoidable meeting um inevitable partnering but what does that have to do with Sagittarius with who let's just say with who right that's what we want to know I'm getting wolf again there's Pisces energy all over this you collaborating with a Pisces or you a creative collaboration could be something that is like that you've been keeping under wraps uh, something like that is like it's almost like set boundaries or set boundaries for who you're collaborating with. Don't share your ideas with everybody. <laughs> Don't do it. Make sure, because this is a great idea. So make sure you only share your ideas with people that you absolutely trust and that have as much to lose as you do in this whole situation. You don't want your ideas to be known by everybody. You definitely want to keep something to yourself. Take care of your needs. This is wolf energy. Again, turn knowledge into wisdom. Something that has been hurting you or making you suffer or making you afraid. How are they? Who does this have relationship to? Wolf, a wolf pack, somebody who you think of when you think of wolf. Um, remember, wolf, uh, I don't know, shield maiden, make plans and focus. This is into the future. It could have something to do with a younger person, a younger woman, younger female, blonde hair, blue eyes, somebody that's really pretty or um, make plans and focus. About what though? What is, what is Sagittarius making plans and focusing on? I don't know. Or it's that it's you and you're about to be a fucking warrior and you're going to fight for something that you really believe in. Stop. We're getting a warning here. Stop. Why? Why does Sagittarius have to stop? I feel like all these words are coming out. Why stop? Because there's something shady going on. There's something shady going on and the underbelly is about to be exposed. And ultimately, I don't think it has directly to do with you, but you might be the one that's actually exposing it. What is this shit? What is this shit? Stand, don't like, don't stand your ground. Stand your ground and stand your ground and stand up for your morality and what you believe in and do saying, do the right thing. You have to do the right thing. It's almost like you want, you desperately want to stop something that you know is fucking shady and you absolutely should because this is the right time to do it where it won't backfire in your face. And 
how this card comes out. Confidence is your key to success. This is the new moon in Leo. And so far, you're the only one that's gotten it. That card is coming out. And this definitely has to do with that. So this is a date. This is an exact date. Because the new moon in Leo happens on July 28th this week, this Thursday. And that's what I mentioned. This is the perfect conjunction between the sun, the moon, and Mercury's in on it too. And it's in direct um, trine to Jupiter, which means it's something on this day that your integrity is going to shine through and be bold and push it out. And don't doubt yourself, not even for a fucking second. Don't hesitate to stick up for yourself and do what's right. Um, it's like, yeah, in including including um time to collaborate and like anything that you're doing with other people there's a sense of assert yourself and take over and take that authority <clears throat> i don't know what you're doing there's some sort of piscean energy here that's all over this reading stick up maybe this is a person you're going to stick up for stand up for <clears throat> um you know don't don't let them be shit on it's almost like you're just like superpower mode. You come online and you, you say something, you, you don't let it, you don't let it, um, pass you. You don't let it, you don't let it get by you. Um, but yeah, what do you, what is this regard with regards to Sagittarius? What is happening on that day? Two of Pentacles. We have two of Pentacles again. A shift or change in money. You better play the lotto. A shift or change in money is going to happen on this day. You better play the lotto. Princess of Wands. This was something new that started. A new beginning. A new, something new. Something brand new. Or a newbie. Somebody who was fresh out of the gate. Somebody who just started. Maybe you just started. This could be you. Uh, an interest that you just got. Um, a chance that you just took. This isn't a huge risk. This is a little risk. But it's something that um, you felt compelled to do. That was it was important to you. It's a new start or a new interest and a new idea, but it started a while ago. And now it's front and center and it's going to shift. There's some sort of dynamic change here with regards to an exchange of finances. Okay, but tell me how this is all playing out for Sagittarius. Like, give me the story of how this is happening. Why, why is this happening? Magician, because you made it happen. You have been working on this. This is something that you have been putting together. Okay? It's something that you, you're you finding a way to figure all this out and put it all together. Okay? And what, what does that mean? It means a new start and a new beginning. You can actually, like, take off in a new direction. Go in a new direction, leaving in a new direction, taking a leap of faith, nine of pentacles, because now you got money, people have owed you. You have you have the money to be able to actually hightail it out of somewhere. This is this is a financial breakthrough. Let's get to the nitty-gritty. Sagittarius. These cards won't come out for you. A oh, one did stop. So why is this card? Oh, another card did. One, singularity. What does that mean? This is also wish on a star. Wish on a star, the star card, or it's almost like all of a sudden you get an idea. And you have to, you have to like jump on it right then. And you just have to like, don't, don't hesitate. Don't pause. This was, this was, it was stopped. Like something had stopped. But it's, it's, no. No, what, but what stopped? Why is there a stop here? Why was there a stop? What stopped? Stop what? Stop what? Clarify stop, God, please. Clarify stop. Clarify stop. 
you couldn't decide which way you wanted to go or what was more important to you. You were having a conflict of interest. Do I stay or do I go? That's why it was a stop. And you're going to choose to go. Because now it's like your curiosity has got the best of you. What's more important to you? Now you're going to be certain of what's more important to you. You had stopped. You had held back because there wasn't uncertainty or there wasn't enough money. Money, it's not like you didn't have money, but you were like passing it from one to like, like kind of like pay, robbing Peter to pay Paul or just sort of like juggling and trying to figure things out. Um, I feel like there's just in, in, intuitively, you know, that this is a time to jump on it, spring on it. You've been working on this for a while. This is that new moon. This is the confirmation when something sort of an anomaly happens that, that normally wouldn't make any sense, but you're going to know it. And how are you going to know it? I'm going to answer that question in the extended. You've got to jump on it. Let's go to the extended. I'll see you guys there.